Hello, how are you? My name is Daryl Bennett, and I want to first of all say what's up to Year Up. I want to thank Sophia for the opportunity to share with you by video. The sheer not knowing what's going to happen can pull you in a dark place, and I wanted to give some inspiration and give you some encouragement. The first thing that I want to say is, uh, though you don't know what's going to happen in the future, and none of us do, uh, uh, I've you know what has happened in your past and you've overcome things. Look at the amazing things that you've done in your life. I want you to remember whenever you are facing uncertainty in the future, you have to look at your past. You have to look at how you've made it before. You've made it before. You come from people that are resilient. That's the hallmark of our people. We're resilient. We've, we've, we've overcome from centuries of having gone through and, and yet we thrived and we built nations and built communities and we've entered Innovated. That's what you come from. Be flexible. So though, you know, you may not be able to live life the way you've lived it in the past for the next few weeks or maybe even the next few months, that's fine. It's time to pivot. Don't be so married to what worked before that you miss where we're going now. I want you to remember this. What fed you in one season can strangle you in another. That's why when the baby comes through the birth canal, the first thing that they do is cut the umbilical cord. Because if they don't cut the umbilical cord, the thing that gave life to the baby in the womb will kill the baby when it's out. What am I trying to say? I'm really trying to get you to understand that, that with seasons, you have to shift. With seasons, you have to change. And don't get so stuck in what worked before that you missed that things are changing now. Keep your eyes on the prize. See, it's not so much about what's going on around you that you can't change anyway. You can't change what the White House is going to say or not going to say. You can't change the reports of the CDC. You can't change what type of regulations are going to come down, what type of restrictions. But what you can change is what you focus on. They sold, I remember it was a race car driver that I had met, and he said the first thing that they are told is when they're driving, and they're almost about to, uh, 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 you know, navigate a turn, and if they feel like they're going to hit a wall, they're told to turn their head in the other direction. Inevitably, where you turn your head to is where you'll find yourself going. We're uninterested in the possibilities of defeat. It does not mean that we're delusional. We don't believe that there could be defeat. We're not saying that within months there won't be massive layoffs and within weeks that there won't be a number of things that will change our way of life, perhaps a way we've never seen before. But what we're saying is we're not going to focus on failure. We're not going to focus on what could go wrong because we can't change it anyway. What we're going to focus on our God-given talent and what we've been given. And we're going to focus on our ability to to, to to be something inspiring for someone right now. What do you have right now that you've discounted? What do you have right in your arsenal that somebody needs? Do what you can with what you have right where you are. I don't, 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 I